Okay, what I'm going to be going over is how to correctly chlorinate a 4 inch well with a submersible pump. Uh, back in the day, it used to be common to take and pull the pump out if you went this far, which was the correct way previously known. Chlorinate the well using chlorine pellets, which you drop below the pump all the way to the bottom of the well casing, then filling it backfilling it with water which flushes the concentrated chlorine out into the well strata in a sense killing the local bacteria that can be still resident um, new way of doing it which is unnecessary to pull the pump is with sterilene and it's basically a powdered highly concentrated chlorine that you can just lift the well seal to the side uh, pour the appropriate amount depending on the estimate uh, depth of the well and then backfilling it with say you have a 120 gallon tank that you pretty much waterlog by filling it up with the existing well make sure you chlorinate it first fill up the tank run it in the house, get everything chlorinated. Then you want to chlorinate it again and force that into the strata and then it's to let sit. Circulate the pump a little to make sure that the inside of the casing is clean and it's been sanitized. And let it sit for at least 24 hours, if longer possible, which is better. And this will help guarantee a clean bacteria sample. Thank you. You want to be sure to rinse the well casing once the chlorines come up in some sort of fashion like this. Usually when you have a union, just put another end in of a union, take a couple street L's. It's easy because you don't have to try to rig a hose or something like that. It's quick. Slap it together and it's definitely reusable. It's just Pull you fit in this part. It works really well. I say just let it do that for a few minutes to rinse the well casing out, make sure it's nice and sanitized. As you run it through the home, especially if they're not there, so at least you do have some chlorine in the system. Back washing the uh, well casing, quart rechlorinated again. Taking the uh, 100 gallons of water and run it through the hose and fill in the well, causing it to flush out into the strata. This is going to actually physically chlorinate the well correctly. And help me out here. <laughs> Got my air compressor. That'll speed things up. Being said and done. You want to make sure that you seal everything up, either replacing the old well seal with a new one, especially if the bolts are rusty and they won't tighten. What good does that do? Because the next time it rains, you may have leaves or fungus or bird poop or no telling what up here. It runs right down in the well. Recontamination. So you got to make sure that this is sealed. That that gasket, that rubber seal, is compressed by these bolts. Pressing around the wire, pressing around the drop pipe, and pressing the well casing. If you do that, you know that your chlorination is going to hold and not get recontaminated.